From the world's finest resort architectures fitting out a luxurious way of living, to the world's fastest running bullet trains stretching out with the speed of the wind, European continents have been breaking the news bulletin with their ever new advancements in the construction industry, since millions or billions of dollars are subsidized in the construction process of any undertaking. The mega projects, therefore, always reflect the economy of a state. Wouldn't you just love to take a short note on the architectural masterwork of mankind in putting forward their motherland? Europe's un wavering allegiance to Headway and its ingenious essence will be on the full array as we swoop into the intricacies of these transformative endeavors. In this video, we have listed the top 10 biggest mega projects in European countries, which are having a positive blow on the climate of their nation. Number 1. The Elinican Regeneration The Elinican project in Greece intends for yielding intelligent and captivating settings while promoting sustainability. It is set to have a profound mark on Greece and the world. The project's initial grade is predicted to be completed by 2026. Key highlights of this ambitious venture include Elinikan Park, a sprawling coastal park that surpasses all others in Europe. The park will feature abundant green spaces illuminated with over a million indigenous trees and plants. You would probably have put your ears to the first residential skyscraper in Greece. The Riviera Tower, Greece's first residential tower, will offer stunning pictures of the park and sea. It has obtained the prestigious LEED V4 BD plus C Gold pre-certification for its endurable attributes. The Riviera Galleria, known for its upscale shopping and dining ventures, also holds the LEED Gold pre-certification. The Hellenicon project fences in a large commercial center, a marina with 310 berths, and an allegiance to an environmentally accountable layout, seeking a net zero carbon footmark. It incorporates intelligent attributes such as electric vehicle infrastructure, boosted reality navigation, and water level detectors for coastal solidity. The project has attracted considerable interest from investors and the public, with completed sections like the Experience Park and the Elinicorn Experience Center receiving acclaim. The project is expected to generate 14 billion euros in national remunerations, create 85,000 job opportunities, and contribute 2.4% to Greece's GDP. The retail districts keeping up with the Riviera Galleria will showcase a mix of renowned international trademarks and local offerings. While residential properties have seen high demand, striking expansions include the mixed-use tower, a casino resort, and luxury hotels like the Marina Hotel and the Beach Hotel. The project has outweighed its initial funding goals, with a 230 million euro green bond issued by Lambda Development for Sustainability Initiative. Number 2. Northern Road Axis Northern Road Axis, where a viaduct has been put together in the Apicelemi Gorge to pass over the one-time road road route. The older highway from the late 1960s has been replaced by Highway 90. Construction endeavors prompted in the 1990s have resulted in the mutation of certain neighborhoods into a 22-kilometer-long four-lane highway, while the majority of the route hangs around a crate highway. The swelled culmination date for the entire motorway is set for 2028. In terms of connectivity, Motorway 90 will provide access to several airports, including Chania, Heraklion and Sitia, and will additionally foster connections to the new Heraklion Airport at Castelli. Likewise, the motorway will offer convenient passports to various marine ports, including Cavanisi, Kisamos, Chania, Rethymno, Heraklion, Agios Nikolaios and Sitia. Number 3. Seine Scheldt Project France Beijing The Seine Nord Europe Canal is a major project in France, striving to create a high-capacity trough merging the Oise River to the Dunkirk Scheldt Canal. It is part of the larger Seine Scheldt Canal initiative, which aims to link the Rhine and Seine inlets through inland waterways. The preceding pursuits include dressing up swap and conveyance efficiency with neighboring countries, lowering congestion on the A1 motorway, and lowering CO2 emissions. The canal will span 107 kilometers, replacing existing channels and increasing barge capacity. It involves the construction of six locks and three troughs, with a budget of 4.7 billion euros. The project is defined to be completed in 2024, serving as a vital link between the Seine and Scheldt rivers for inland water transport. Number 4. Brenner Base Tunnel, Austria, Italy. The Brenner Base Tunnel is a 55-kilometer-long railway underpass presently under construction beneath the Brenner Pass in the Eastern Alps. It will connect Innsbruck, Austria to Franzensfeste, Italy, replacing part of the existing Brenner Railway. The Brenner Pass works out as a vital lift route between between northern and southern Europe, but it often faces gridlock congestion and environmental challenges. The tunnel gears towards coping with these subjects by straightening up the railway affinity and enabling faster train travel through the Alps. Currently, 
Trains in the region can only reach accelerations of about 70 km per hour, 43 mile per hour, due to drenched channels at the pass, which sit at a highland of 1,371 meters, 4,498 feet, above sea level. The project is a coordinated exertion funded by Austria, Italy, and the European Union. Along with the existing Intal Tunnel, the Brenner Base Tunnel will form the world's longest underground railway connection, measuring 64 kilometers, 40 miles, in total. The expected culmination date for the tunnel is 2032. Number 5. Feyman Belt Tunnel, Denmark, Germany. The Feyman Belt Fixed Link, also known as the Feyman Belt Tunnel, is a steady project to be constructed as an immersed tunnel connecting the Danish island of Lolland with the German island of Feyman, cutting across the 18-kilometer wide Feyman Belt in the Baltic Sea. It will be the world's longest road and rail tunnel. The underpass will provide a direct link between northern Germany and Lolland, offering quicker travel times of 10 minutes by car and 7 minutes by train, compared to the current 45-minute ferry journey even keeping out waiting and boarding time. The high-speed rail line within the tunnel will be capable of reaching speeds of up to 200 km per hour, 125 mile per hour. Initially estimated at 5.5 billion euros, the project's cost increased to 7.4 billion euros by the time Denmark and Germany signed the treaty to build the bridge in 2010. Denmark will sponsor the tunnel and accumulate tolls for its use, while Germany will pitch in 800 million euros to connect the tunnel to its motorway network. The Fairman Belt Tunnel will put back the busy ferry service between Rodby and Puttgarden, known as the Vogelfluglini in German and Fugelflugslinjen in Danish. Number 6. Turin Lyon High Speed Railway Project. The Turin Lyon High Speed Railway Project aims to connect Turin and Lyon through a 270 km international rail line, incorporating the Mont Dambin Base Tunnel, the world's longest rail tunnel at 57.5 kilometers, with a total estimated cost of 25 billion euros. The project focuses on changing the course of freight traffic from trucks to rail, lowering pollution, and providing faster passenger conveyance, while not meeting the European Commission's high-speed criteria. The line is part of the 10T Trans-European Rail Network. The European Union funds 40% of the tunnel costs and may increase its contribution to 55%. However, the project has faced fuss due to dwindling traffic and environmental risks. Additionally, aeroplanes remain slightly faster than the railway option along the Milan-Paris route. The NOTAV movement has categorized antagonism to the project. Civil engineering work began in 2002, and a 9-kilometer gallery finished off between 2016 and 2019, representing 8% of the final tunnel length. The base tunnel is expected to be completed by 2032. Number 7. Plock Olefin Complex Expansion At the forefront of ensuring the long-term competitive stance of the all Group's production facility in Plock. The proliferation of the Olefin complex stands as a pivotal development project with a vision that spans decades. This undertaking emerges as the largest acquisition in the European petrochemical industry within the last two decades. By expanding the Olefins complex, the plant's petrochemical capabilities will witness a substantial increase while concurrently addressing the environmental ramifications associated with such production. Executing state-of-the-art technologies, this project will hold up energy efficiency, leading to a remarkable 30% reduction in carbon emissions per tonne of product, anticipated to be operational by 2025. The new Olefins complex will offer versatile applications, serving as a foundational constituent in the production of automotive parts home appliances and electronics, cleaning and hygiene products, medical supplies, as well as synthetic fibers for the manufacturing of clothing and protective masks. Number 8. Orsted Hornsey 3 Offshore Wild Farm Hornsey 3 a significant offshore wind farm project is strategically negotiated in the North Sea, approximately 120 kilometers off the Norfolk coast and 160 kilometers off the Yorkshire coast. With a capability of nearly 3 gigawatts, it will generate a minimum of 2.85 gigawatts of clean electricity, effectively fulfilling the daily energy prerequisites of over 3 million homes in the UK, scheduled to initiate operations in 2026. Hornsey 3 costing an estimated 8 billion euros, will play an indispensable role in enhancing energy security, speeding up renewable power generation and achieving the country's climate targets. Number 9. Edge Eastside Tower Get ready to be fascinated by the marvel that is the Edge Eastside Tower Berlin. This awe-inspiring office skyscraper, situated in the vibrant section of Friedrichshain Berlin, is a testament to architectural brilliance 
With construction commencing in 2018 and final building approval bestowed in November 2019, this imaginative project is the brainchild of the esteemed Bjarke Ingels Group. Standing tall at a remarkable height of 142 meters, the tower boasts an iconic mask configuration that will indisputably catch the eye. Nestled at the southern end of the Vorschauer Brücke, it pledges to be a beacon of innovation and design. Mark your calendars for the grand inauguration set to take place in 2023. Prepare to be inspired by the future of urban architecture. Number 10. Evora Public Central Hospital. The municipality of Evora, MOE, has embarked on a far-sighted project, the construction of a state-of-the-art central hospital designed to cater to the healthcare needs of the Alentejo region. This upcoming marvel is set to transform the topography of medical care. With culmination organized for the fourth quarter of 2023 and construction kicking off in the first quarter of 2022, the hospital will feature a modern hospital complex, complete with an intensive care unit, ICU, an emergency unit, general wards, a surgical unit, administrative buildings, and miscellaneous other cutting-edge facilities. The MOE is eagerly preparing to launch an international public tender for the construction contract, fetching the best minds together to create a healthcare masterpiece. There is still a row of the biggest mega projects that have the urge to make history shortly. Let us know in the comment section which of the above mentioned mega projects has inspired you the most. Don't forget to share it with your mates to let them cherish the reports of upcoming mega projects in Europe.